welcome back people to some more hopeless adventures in Minecraft. Today we have a plan with the house. What we're going to do is we are going to work on an anvil room, a smelting room and then possibly work on a nether hub which might, if we have enough time, we might be able to do that. But the main focus today is actually working on building into this mountain. So the plan is we have got a bit of a problem with the water, which is slightly annoying. But what we're going to do is hopefully in the future, we're going to go up there and fill in this water. So we're not going to have it dripping down like this, which is a bit of a pain. But let me just put some torches down to keep it nice and light in here. Okay, so the plan is let's start mining into this area here. It's going to be a, a thin little tunnel for the time being and then we're going to open it out and what we're going to do is we're going to fill this room completely with um, furnaces so this will be our official smelting room I know we do have the little area downstairs with a few furnaces well we've got six which is more than we actually need but I think it would just be nice to have a smelting room for when we come back from those big mining trips we can actually spend some time smelting so what I am going to need to do is go and grab some more spruce logs um, and use those with the beams and uh, keep working on those because I like that theme okay we've got some gravel here which is a little bit of a pain but I think maybe if we go once more out I think that'll be quite a nice idea if we can put some anvils in here that would be good maybe we should merge the anvil room with the smelting room it would be quite handy Let's just get rid of this dirt, all of this gravel. We can replace that floor a little bit into the future. And here we go. Okay, so before I do anything else, I just want to quickly show you guys that now my nether portal is officially working. Zach and I spent a bit of time um, working on this. And yeah, so we no longer have the problem of um, not being able to get home. Oh, here we are. So if we go right, I think that is the way to um, the the spawn nether. So like the nether hub of the spawn. And if we go left, that is to the nether torture. So let me just walk down here and show you guys kind of place. Obviously, this is quite nice that we've got a little tunnel already. I don't know who dug this. Someone obviously dug this. And uh, here we go. So here's the nether fortress. We can start grabbing ourselves some materials. Maybe I might grab some quartz now. Just... Um, to use for building. I do like quartz actually quite a lot. I don't know if it will go with my house too much but we can give it a go. Maybe a nice little kind of white quartz room for storing things. I quite like the idea of that. So yes I think luckily we've got quite a good position in the nether which is nice and sometime in the future we can start linking up where we are with spawn and with the nether fortress um, by Rail carts, mine carts, that would be a good idea and it would make it all very quick and efficient, which would be handy, but that will be a bit into the future when I have enough gold and iron to make those uh, those rails. So let's head back now. How much of that have I got? Not very much quartz. Obviously, I haven't got efficiency on this pickaxe yet. That would be nice to maybe start grabbing some sugarcane. And we can start working on getting some books and making a uh, enchanting table. But for the time being, the house is taking priority and we're going to spend some more time on that. Just going to grab this final bit of quartz. Good XP as well. And then we can head back and start working on these new two rooms. Okay, there's so much quartz. Wait, am I even in the right place? This will be very bad if I'm lost already. Where did I come out of? Was it up? Maybe it was up there? I'm pretty sure I came out from up here. <laughs> okay, I am a little bit lost. My whereabouts are not on point. Um, we didn't come through there. No, because that was far too... Give me one second, guys. Okay, guys, so I eventually found the tunnel that took too long to do. I don't know why I got so lost. It is slightly disguised into the side, so I'm just going to put some torches here. 
Um, I might put some... I just want to put something down that makes it kind of obvious. Just for the time being, I'll put some I'll put some cobblestone down. Um, this is not going to look great, but just for the moment so I can uh, recognise it. I'll put some cobblestone down. But I'm not going to do that with my hands. And I'm getting stuck down here. I don't know what I'm doing today. Let's just break these. I just want to make a nice little square with some cobblestone. And then I can't place blocks. There we go. That'll do. That'll do for the, for the moment. Just so I can see it in the side. So let's head back home. Now we've got some quartz. We can make some quartz blocks. Not very many because uh, it obviously takes a lot. But let's head back and continue working on the house. I do somewhat need to go mining again because I've only got a couple of diamond tools. It would be nice to um, go and spend some more time mining. So I may do that in the future. Maybe a little bit further from home so um, I'm not in the same cave system. So let's grab some more spruce wood. We can use these on the new room. Oh, I'm not quite going to be able to reach this, am I? Let me just put this down here. There we go. Okay. And let's get a couple of trees just because I know I'll be needing quite a lot of it. Okay, that'll do for the moment. Let's head back. I'm thinking, I'd like to know your guys' kind of uh, input on this, of maybe making this entrance into a lion's head. I have seen that done elsewhere. Obviously, I'd make it my own kind of style. But I think it would be quite cool, say the entrance was the mouth, and uh, you made this, this cliff face look like a, a lion's head. I think that would look quite cool. But that will be somewhat in the future. But it would be nice to do something like that and make it quite individual. So let's put these last parts of the beams in here there we go um, ooh, would it be worth okay well I think I'm, I'm, I want to carry this theme on through so I'm going to uh, keep this going put some down here so I, I know I said I was gonna work in the other room I shall be doing that in a moment I just want to finish this Okay, there we go. I think that will look quite nice. And that haven't got enough. Oh, yes, I have. Perfect amount. Oh, I need one more down here. But that will do for the moment. So, let's make ourselves an anvil. Um, have I got all my iron on me? Yes, I have. I need to make myself... Is it two blocks or one block? I know it has to be, oh it's three isn't it? Because it has to be like uh, one, two, three. Yeah, so let's make ourselves a couple more iron blocks. One, two, three. There we go. These across the top. And there we go. There's our first anvil, which we hopefully will be using in the future. There we go. And that's how the symmetry pays off. So we can have this right dead in the centre. Um, now let's go and make a bunch of furnaces obviously I won't be using all of these at the moment just because well, I haven't got enough stuff to smelt but I think it would be nice to have a bunch let's just grab all of these um, so the torches out for the time being I'll just make one line of furnaces at the moment and then we maybe we could decorate that with some quartz I think that would look quite cool uh, no let, let's dig this into the wall actually so if we just put this through here, so this is kind of a a room for use, you know, when you want to um, smelt things and um, anvil things together. This will be that sort of room. So let's head back down. It might be worth putting a crafting table in there when we have enough wood. I don't think I actually have enough at the moment, but yes, I do. Um, let's. What was I going to do? Yes, I was going to make some quartz blocks. So there we go, 11 of those. Let's throw that last bit out. I don't know why I'm not storing my stuff away in the chest. I'll do that in a second. So we've got 11 quartz blocks. Maybe it would be nice to put these on the floor. Make a nice kind of quartz floor theme. I think that looks quite nice in here actually. And let's put one under the anvil. Oh, I didn't realise it would actually fall down. 
I'm gonna have to remake that, aren't I? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. And I can't pick it up. Okay. Let's go and store this away. This is taking far too much time. I haven't used any of these chests on this side either, so let's uh, actually when this is well, this is our uh, our blocks chest. So let's put all of our stuff in here. What else do I not need? All of this dirt. I can put these kind of uh, farming materials in here. That'll do for the moment. So let's put those uh, final quartz blocks down in the centre where the anvil was. Pick that up. And yes, so there we go. We've got our kind of our anvil room semi done. I'd like to replace the walls. Maybe let's go and smelt some um, some stone, and we can keep this stone brick theme going. Uh, let's take a couple of those. Oh, we have got a bunch of stone there. Let's make these into stone bricks. I could make those into cracked stone bricks. Mm, let's make a few slabs to go on the floor. There we go. So 12 of those. We can put the uh, the outer area having these slabs. That would be quite nice. And then we can make the walls um, that cobblestone bricks, which I think will look quite nice. Have I got... I've only got two quartz blocks left. It's amazing how easily you deplete quartz. It seems like you've got a lot when you've got a stack, but you use it up so easily. So let's put these round here. I think that will look quite nice. Have I got enough? No, not yet. Um, I've got a crafting table. Let's just put that. Uh, be quite nice just to put it above the furnaces. Um, what was I going to do? Oh yes, make some more slabs just to finish this room off. And we can keep that theme running through into the uh, enchanting table room when, once we have enough books to do that. Um, okay, let's replace these walls with the rest of the cobblestone. Or sorry, should I say the rest of the stone bricks. Um, and maybe I could put some glowstone in here if I go and pick that up in the future. Do I like this? Yeah, I think so. Maybe it'd be worth having a different... Um, different type of block down the middle I think that would look quite nice I just need to use my shovel for this so let's get those in there and do the same on the other side and that will be this room almost almost done what I am going to do which I didn't do last episode and I said I was going to do was breed the cows together and start ourselves a cow farm going that will be really helpful in the future What's this block doing um, so let's go and do that. I have uh, got enough wheat now. I did harvest that. It's not a very efficient farm at the moment, but it's quite handy. So I'm going to take this um, and these bit of wheat. Okay. So how am I going to get these cows together? Okay, I'm going to break this guy out. And um, hello. Is he is he interested? I can't, no, he doesn't look very interested. Come on, buddy, what are you doing? No, there we go. I think I've got him now. Let's just, oh, this is a bit annoying. Okay, I'm just going to make this temporary at the moment, just a little cow area. I haven't got enough fences, I don't think. Yes, I have. I've got three more fences. That should, four more fences, that should probably do the job. If I put this final one here, okay, there we go, we've got him now, is he going to, if we can get him to come up here, okay, now let's break this, no, no, are you coming, buddy, this is why cows are so annoying, come on, please, look, look, you like this. I've got wheat for you. There we go. Now I've got them. So let's... No, move out the way. Move out the way. Yes. Okay. There we go. We've got them. Now we can breed them. Have a little baby there, hopefully. Where is he? Yes. Perfect. Let's give that guy one bit 
Um, quickly get this out of the way. That was really stupid. Okay, perfect. So there we go. We've got a little cow farm going. What I am going to do as well is I'm going to plant this sugarcane. Um, might be worth automating a sugarcane farm in the future, but for the time being, I'm going to plant this, and hopefully by next episode, these will have grown, and I'll have um, enough to make a few books and a couple of bookcases, which will be handy in the future. So, before I uh, finish the episode up, what I am going to do is I'm going to carry on this this theme going of these uh, stone bricks, and all actually stone brick staircase or uh, spruce wood I think I'm gonna make the spruce wood just so I have a different entrance to the um, the stairs I actually have inside so let's cut a couple of these down I quite like these ones here though maybe I'll go a bit further into the forest yeah this guy let's cut this down perfect I think I don't know it's is a fairly big staircase so maybe it's worth cutting down about three of these yeah, I guess it's better to have enough than it is to have too little there we go there's the second and one more let's get this big one a little bit of lag there but we're not doing too badly for lag I'm like I'm going to do this, and I'm going to get this last bit. Oh no, there's one more. That was pointless. There we go. Perfect. That should hopefully be enough. Now let's head back over. Let's make these into planks. There we go. More than a stack. A stack and a half of uh, spruce wood planks. And let's make these into... Mm, would it be worth making them into... No, I'll, ma I'll make them into stairs. I'm not going to make them into slabs. I think it'll be a bit better with stairs. And maybe I have got a little bit of an idea that should do for the time being maybe we could have um, the spruce wood stairs on either side and then in the middle we could have uh, stone brick stairs and I think that would look quite nice oh we've got the torch there there we go perfect so let's make these uh, final bit of stone brick stairs and then we will wrap up this video uh i think i'll need a, one more there we go 12 of these let's put these in here there 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 oh i've always been bad at placing stairs and there we go so in my own time i'll be able to replace this with uh, probably stone stone walls um just to make this look a bit nicer um, so I've got this this room going. I'll put a, uh, a few more furnaces in here and a few more crafting tables. Finish off, get this the last bit of dirt out and replace this wall. And yeah, I can start working on this room and the final room. So there you go, guys. That's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, leave a like and um, subscribe if you want to see more Minecraft. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.